Hey, I am so excited because I get to share with you one of my all-time favorite theorems of all of mathematics. Mathematics is huge, lots of theorems, and this is one of my all-time favorites. It's one of the most important theorems in all mathematics. It is, of course, the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem! The Pythagorean theorem! And you know what it says? It says that if you have a right triangle and you know the lengths of the sides, if one leg is A and another leg is B, and you know the hypotenuse is C, then those lengths magically work together in such a way that A squared, when added to B squared, will always equal C squared. That's right. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Did you love it? Sing with me. Nah, it's okay. All right, anyway, let me show you some wonderful applications where we can use this important formula whenever we have a right triangle where we know something about some of the, some of the lengths of the sides. For example, check it out. Check it out. Check it out, out. So here's a right triangle. We know that, by the way, because of that little teeny right angle symbol there. And I'm told that the hypotenuse has length 20 centimeters. I'm told that this leg has length 20, uh, 12 centimeters. And now I want to find out this, this missing length. The missing link here is easy to figure out because, of course, the Pythagorean theorem comes to our rescue. So what do I know? I know that x squared, that length squared, plus this leg squared, which is 12 squared, is going to equal the hypotenuse squared, or x squared plus 144 equals, and then 20 squared is 400. If I subtract 144 from both sides, I see that x squared equals 256. Well, that's awesome, because I can now just take the square root of both sides. Now, technically, let me just remind you, you're going to be taking plus or minus the square root. But x represents a length. And so since x represents a length, we know it's going to be positive. Pick up a ruler, look at it. There's no negative numbers on there. It's all positive. And so therefore, just take the positive square root. x equals the positive square root of 256, which equals 16. And so x equals 16 centimeters. And you see how we found that length? by actually using the Pythagorean theorem. It's really kind of cool. Let me show you even a more abstract question. So let's, let's raise the, the level up. You know, poof, a little bit more crazy, a little more abstract. I want us to figure out what x is. If all we know is that we have a right triangle, one length of one leg is 8, the other leg has length x, and the hypotenuse has, is, has length x plus 2, we have no idea what x is. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to figure out what x is. And so now, how would we do it? Well, what we do is use the Pythagorean theorem, which says that this leg squared, which is x squared, plus this leg squared, which is 8 squared, has to equal this leg squared. And I'm going to make a mistake right here. Let's see if you can catch my mistake. Here's a little mistake. What's the mistake? The mistake is that this, as written, is only squaring the 2. This is technically x plus 2 squared, which is x plus 4. And that's wrong, because you have to square this entire value, which means that we have to put parentheses around the whole thing. Now, if that didn't stump you, awesome. Congratulations. I love you. If it did stump you, I still love you, but I want you to really remember that, in fact, we have to put parentheses around quantities when we're squaring the entire quantity. Isn't that a great lesson? Thank you very much. I'm here all week. OK, now, if we work this out, I see x squared plus 8 squared is 64. And what does that equal? Now, well, now I have to actually FOIL and multiply x plus 2 by x plus 2. Well, x times x is x squared. The outside terms give me a 2x, and the inside terms give me a 2x. So when I add them together, I get a 4x. And then 2 times 2 is, of course, 4. And so I'm left with this. And notice this is actually kind of cool, because if I subtract x squared from both sides, this seemingly quadratic equation magically becomes a linear equation. Check it out. x squared minus x squared is 0. I'm just left with 64 equals x squared minus x squared is 0, I'm left with 4x plus 4. So now I subtract 4 from both sides, subtract 4 from both sides, 
and I'm left with 60 equals 4x plus 0. Now to solve for x, I just divide by 4, and 60 divided by 4 is equal to 15. And so x equals 15. Really kind of cool, actually, if you think about it, because if we have you know, a quadratic equation, there might be two solutions. But that wouldn't make any sense because there's only one triangle. You can see this one triangle here. There's got to be just one answer. And the cool thing is that the math won't permit anything else. And in fact, the potential square terms that might generate two solutions drop out. And we only left with one sole solution, x equals 15 units. That's the length of this leg. And we can actually find the length of the hypotenuse. It's going to be 15 plus 2, a.k.a. 17. See you soon.